Since law is about human behavior, and we think brain is at the foundation of human behavior, if we understand the brain and understand its relation to human behavior, this has potentially wide-reaching implications for law. Lots of people, for example, think that as we understand the causation of behavior, this will be a window into understanding whether people can be responsible for themselves. We're at the edge of a potential revolution because to the extent that understanding the brain makes us think mechanistically about ourselves. This could change our view of ourselves, our view of responsibility, our view of the way we ought to interact with one another, our view of the rights we have, both against each other and against the state. So there's a possible revolution coming. And what we need to do is we need to think really seriously about what the implications of these brain findings are and may be in the future. Because this is a train that could run away if we don't act carefully and cautiously from the beginning. I think that understanding that there are causes for behavior, including neuroscientific causes for behavior, should surprise no one. I think we're far enough along in the understanding of how the world works to believe that this is a causal universe and that we human creatures who are part of this causal universe are subject to the same causal laws as all the other phenomena of the universe. But what these causal laws have thrown off in human beings is the capacity to act for reasons. To the best of our knowledge, we're the only creatures consciously and fully to act for reasons, who are capable of being responsive to reasons and to using reasons in our everyday lives. I don't think there's anything that neuroscience is likely to find that is going to tell us that that picture of ourselves is radically false.